a former religious fighter remaking himself as a politician. Gobuddin Hekmatyar was one of Afghanistan's most notorious warlords. But last year, he signed an amnesty deal with the government and in May returned from exile and triumphantly paraded through Kabul. It's taken six months for the first public gathering of his political party, Hezbi Islami. It filled the largest speaking hall in the country. I never in my dreams thought we could have this event or that it would be so big. Participants took an oath in Arabic Pashto and Dari, pledging everlasting allegiance to Hizbi Islami. Ignatiar emphasized the importance of elections, saying the democratic process is the only way to build a strong central government. And he wants Hezbi Islami to play a big part. Ignatiar says only a strong government can bring security and stability to Afghanistan. But it's unclear whether a big turnout here will mean more votes in parliamentary elections next year, the presidential vote in 2019. In the meantime, Hekmatyar says he's meeting Taliban members who could help end the fighting. There are those in the Taliban who are tired of war and want peace. They were forced to enter the war. It's possible to convince these groups and we could focus on these people. He says negotiations are the only solution, that Afghanistan must take the lead. Neither the Taliban nor the Americans can win this war. It's not winnable. Both sides have tested their strength. NATO has used maximum power here, but couldn't win. For Afghan President Ashraf Ghani, bringing Hekmatyar in from the cold is a risk. He's a divisive figure, still mistrusted, even hated by many Afghans. But Ghani hopes his amnesty and return can serve as an example to the Taliban and other opposition groups, that if they lay down their arms, they too could have a place in politics. Jennifer Glass, Al Jazeera, Kabul.